Charles, you want to tell them what we're doing? All right, guys. So what we're doing, guys, is we're about to actually test something. We're about to test a theory. A theory with a massive, massive alligator. You can see him right here. How much does he weigh? This is Elvis the alligator. How Elvis, much he weigh, he's probably getting approaching 700 pounds now, I think. 700 pound, massive alligator. 12 foot and half an inch last time we measured him. 12 feet long. And what we're actually going to test is a scientific theory. Good boy. Yes, you are a good boy. All right, guys, so here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. There is a scientist that thinks that alligators and crocodiles like fruit. Right? right? He has this theory and that alligators and crocodiles like fruit. And that they eat it sometimes on purpose. So we're going to kind of test that. And we're also going to show you the bite force of this big boy right here who has thousands of pounds. He's got thousands of pounds of bite force. Oh, are you going to come for me? You going to come for me? You going to come for me? Yeah, 2,500 pounds per square inch. So this guy is going through. He's pretty much like a trash compactor crushing down on it. A lot of bite force there. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, he's coming for me. He's coming for Get me. Get closer. He knows that's shallow. He's not going to come further than that. Want me to throw it or let him launch? Touch him on the nose. Touch him on the nose? No, 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 no. There it is. All right, do it. Oh my gosh. That guy's best. He's coming at you. He still smells it. Do it again. Yeah, he smells it. What is going on here? I smell turkey. I taste watermelon. Come on. It's not the right consistency. All right, see if he eats it. No, nope, spit it out. All right. So we're going to feed him a little bit of meat. See if he's even hungry for our theory. Watermelon? You got some watermelon? The alligator's right there. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home, kids. This is not smart. And grown But we wouldn't do it if it was safe. Because we're not that smart. Oh! He just ate. All right, see if he eats it. Now what we're going to do is actually see if he wants to eat any of that. Besides just bite it because he wanted to bite it, we'll actually want to see. Is this guy interested in this? Oh, spit it out. Spit it out. that. He spit it out. He did not keep it. I knew it. He didn't like He's eating the one in the down. This stuff's just floating around. He's not eating it. Do you guys think the crocodiles um, and alligators, crocodilians, crocodiles and alligators, do you think they like fruit? Well, we've tested alligators. I don't think Elvis likes Maybe fruit. Maybe we'll test crocodiles next. We do have another cantaloupe we can feed to the crocodiles. And those guys are super scared. Wait, is that a crocodile or an alligator? This is an alligator. That's the biggest alligator I've ever seen. All right, now you gotta go retrieve all those chunks of watermelon before they clog the drain. <laughs> oh, do I? <laughs> Somebody has to. Uh, I will. All right, guys, here's the thing. He didn't go after that watermelon. He just bit it and he let it go. So, probably doesn't like fruit. Probably doesn't like watermelon. It, 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 is it true that they like fruit? The jury's still out on that one, but Elvis doesn't seem to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and reward him though, cause he was a good boy. He was out here, he took part in our scientific experiment here. So we're gonna go ahead and give him a nice fat turkey. Ooh, yeah, she got a little pin out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and get oh, that yeah, out of there. That take, we don't want him eating that. Oh, temperature gauge. He doesn't care if his turkey is cooked. He'll eat it nice and raw. So. He prefers it raw. Right he there. prefers it raw. Where's he at guys? Right there. Oh he's, right oh, he's on the other side. He'll turn around when he smells this, though. You want me to go over there? Yeah, come over here. He smells it. Oh, he can smell it. Oh, yeah. Try to get him a raise up for it, too. Touch him on the nose with it. He doesn't like the shallow water though, does he? No. Go ahead, touch him on the nose with it again and then give it to him. Okay. Oh, he 
got it. He got it. He got it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Very cool. Awesome. Now give Whoa. him a big hand. Give him, give, give him a big hand. No, I meant your hand. Give him my hand? Yeah, the right one. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys. If you like that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. New wild videos every single week. Alligators, sharks, snakes, all kinds of cool stuff. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the live alerts. Come out to Colorado Gators if you want to see the coolest, the coolest alligator place on the planet. It's odd. It's odd. I'm saying that, and some people later on they'll be like, "Why did you say that, Charles?" But if you, the coolest alligator place on the planet, it's not in Florida. It's in Colorado. Come out and see these guys, Colorado Gators. All right, guys. So Elvis the alligator definitely did not like this watermelon. He didn't care for this one bit. But so what we're gonna do, because we don't want to let any of this go to waste, we're gonna go ahead and feed it to these uh, sulcata tortoises right here. And these guys definitely love fruit and you can see they are pretty darn excited they're almost they're almost they're almost doing a little tug of war over the melon so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and give another piece right here so they all got plenty of melon right here plenty of yum hey you want some right here this is really good right here this is really good that's just yummy that's good stuff that's good stuff Ooh. that got a little dirt on that one Man, this melon looks so good, I am almost wanting to just wipe off the gator gator mud and eat it myself. Now, they don't need to eat a lot of fruit. In fact, they need to eat 80% grass. Very low protein, high fiber diet. Yeah, so fruit is kind of a, a, a snack and a dessert for them. Yeah, we a little bit, a little bit, but you don't want to have their base diet be fruit. And you can see he actually got some pretty good power right here with uh, tearing out that right there. Using his foot to kind of leverage. Pretty yeah. cool, pretty cool. And these guys uh, actually live in Africa, so, but these ones live in Colorado. <laughs> All right, guys, so this has just been in a pond of muddy alligator poop. Mostly fish poop. Mostly fish poop, so you go ahead and eat this. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It tastes no, like tilapia, doesn't it? No, they're pretty good, guys. No, blue with that muddy taste. 